So the fourth division under plant kingdom that you have to remember that is gymnosperms. We are almost coming to the end of the plant kingdom's divisions. The gymnosperms, you break the term. Gymno means naked. What it means? It means naked. Gymno. And sperms mean seeds. So just make the word. It will be naked seeds. That is the seeds without any covering. In case of gymnosperms, you can see the very gradual development in case of the plant kingdom. Thallophyta, only thallus structure. Bryophyta, root-like, stem-like structure. Tridophyta, we get the vascular tissues. And now we get the seeds. We have come to the second last division of plant kingdom. That is division with seeds. So the first characteristics of gymnosperms will be they are having seeds. The second property under gymnosperm that you have to remember is that the gymnosperms, the seeds are naked. The seeds are naked. Means there is no covering of the seeds. As a mark of characteristics, you can remember that gymnosperms are having perennial life. Perennial. Perennial means they can live up to years. Five, 550 years, 70 years. One of the most important example of Tridophyta is that of the pines. You have seen pines in the northeastern states of India. The pine tree can live up to 100 years or even more than that. So they are perennial because they can live a huge life, huge span of life. So they are called perennials. Okay. Another important property under gymnosperms are they are evergreen. They are evergreen. They are always greenish in structure. They are corniferous. They are corniferous. Corniferous and evergreen. Like the structure is like this somewhat. As you make the Christmas tree. You can see corniferous structure like a cone or not. Because they are usually found in cold places. So if snow falls, it should not be settled on the plant. It will go and move on and get rubbed off. So here we come, in, come to the last point under gymnosperms that is presence of strawberry. This is not mentioned in your syllabus, but I'm just telling you to a bit of it to remember. Strobilus, if you have seen the pine fruit, then it is strobilus. Strobilus means the final structure that bears the male or the female sex organ. Am I clear? So strobilus means the male strobilus containing male sex organ and female strobilus containing female sex organ. Strobilus, why I am mentioning? Because strobilus is the major characteristics of the plants under gymnosperms division. Last point is they have vascular tissues. The last point is they have vascular tissues. That is the presence of vascular tissues that is xylem and phloem. Examples of gymnosperms are cycus. The examples under gymnosperms are cycus and pinus. So, just repeating once again, gymnosperms means naked seeds. So, for the first time in plant kingdom, we came across the in introduction of seeds. After seeds, you have the perennial, they live for a long period of time. They are evergreen and coniferous, that is they have a cone-like structure and they are evergreen. The reason of being cone-like structure I have explained because they are found in cold places where there is climatic condition is very cold. So, if snow falls, they should not be settled on the body of the plant. It may destroy the plant. Next is there is presence of strobilus. Strobilus is the collection of the male sex organ and the collection of the female sex organs. So male strobilus, male sex organ, female strobilus, female sex organ. And the last point is they have vascular tissues, they have clear xylem and phloem for the conduction of food and water from various parts of the plant to the distinct places. In the last portion we are coming, the last division that is angiosperms. The diagram of angiosperm I have already made. This is the basic diagram of an angiospermic plant. I have made the comparison. As I have already told you, in case of pteridophyte itself, we have got roots and stems. And in case of gymnosperms also, there was true root and true stems. In case of angiosperm, which is said to be the most developed division of the plant kingdom, you can see flower, fruit, leaves, stem and root as its own places. Angio means covered. 
the word angio means covered and sperms means seed so the angiosperms have covered seeds seeds means what after say the male gamete this is the male gamete and this is the say female gamete they form zygote one cell we have all come from zygote from zygote we have embryo from zygote we have embryo means collection of cells when zygote divides it forms embryo the embryo is found in the seeds because embryo is the initiation of the new individual so in seed you have embryo along with that of what is seed is equals to embryo plus reserved food plus reserved food reserved food why because till the time embryo is not proliferating into that of a new plant the embryo will feed upon this food and it will survive so seeds are what embryo plus reserved food this is very important for you to remember another name of angiosperms are they are called flowering plants they are called flowering plants because they have the potential to flower as you can see flower okay they are called flowering plants now after the uh, division that is hierarchy remember kingdom phylum then you have class so angiosperm has two very important classes and they are monocots and dicots mono means one cot means cotyledon di means two and cot means cotyledon so they have one cotyledon and they have two cotyledons and that's why it has been divided into two classes what do you mean by cotyledons cotyledons are called seed leaves what are they called they are called seed leaves just remember a gram or a chana seed okay well, how does it look this you can see a chana seed after immersed in water so you can see one and two these are the two cotyledons that is two coverings of the seed and in case of say maize there is only one like structure this is monocot so this is dicot and this is monocot mono means one means one cotyledon di means two means two cotyledon mono means one means one cotyledon di means two means two cotyledon and cotyledons are what they are called seed leaves so we have got the two classes of the angiosperm now this monocots and dicots also varies in their vegetative structure like monocots have fibrous root dicots have tap root monocots have parallel venation in leaf dicots have reticulate venation in leaves so these are the various difference in the vegetative structures of the plants with monocot and dicot seed coming to the last topic of plant kingdom that is phanerogams and cryptogams just remember that you have heard about five divisions that is one division is that thallophyta bryophyta pteridophyta gymnosperms and angiosperms characteristics we discussed one is they are flowering plants they have covered seeds they have two classes that is monocots as well as dicots examples of angiosperms are ample in your surrounding mango guava sunflower mustard maize wheat rice gram dal lenticels anything which you see around you comes under the example of angiosperms now just the last portion is cryptogams and phanerogams that are the two that are the two categories of plant kingdom cryptogams and phanerogams this is it the first three divisions just recap once thallophyta bryophyta and pteridophyta they have no seeds they have no proper sex organs 
we have heard that the sex organ is simple and single celled there is no proper sex organs so they will come under the category of cryptogams crypto money in sorry keep crypto means in inconspicuous inconspicuous means inconspicuous and gams means organs sex organs so cryptogams are those who have not proper not very well differentiated not very categorized sex organs they have inconspicuous sex organ and they are the examples of thallophyta then you have bryophyta just remember i told you in case of pteridophyta there are spores naked embryos so they will come under cryptogams just the opposite is phenerogams they have differentiated sex organs the sex organs are very well differentiated their sex organs are very well marked okay and you have the phanerogams okay and the example are gymnosperms in case of the phanerogams you can find seeds which is a very distinguishable characteristic of the phanerogams and here is no seed this question is a very common question in examination you should mark it differentiate between cryptogams and phanerogams you should be able to write it with this we complete the plant kingdom